From 32 heroes, only 16 heroes remain, including Alexander, Genghis Khan, Wide Putin, and yes, Gandhi. Somehow he's still alive. There can be only one winner. Let the games begin. Knockout stage, battle one. George Washington, Blackbeard. This town ain't big enough for the both of them, and they are exchanging fire. Blackbeard, almost all of his bombs are just going directly past. He's not actually doing anything. We might have a dub. Oh my god. He just needs to land one of these bombs onto old George. There we go. Georgie's taking a hit. Come on. Oh, is that another hit? Oh, just about not quite. How did you miss that? Oh, Oh, here comes another one. Oh, headshot. What was that? I wonder if they take damage from direct impact. And okay. Blackbeard goes down. George Washington wins that battle. Knockout stage, battle two. William Wallace, Alexander the Great. Time to make your statue proud. I'm expecting a big charge here. In he goes. Okay. William Wallace getting RKO'd there, but now the real battle begins. Scottish Claymore versus sword and shield and what a hit that was tell you what alexander off to a quick lead here but the claymore is a one hit artist and that was a big hit there alexander you gotta start doing some more damage here you saw what this guy did to the pope last time oh my god okay alexander just got beheaded william wallace wins that battle knockout stage battle three otto von bismarck <clears throat> vladimir putin here we go, yet another battle we definitely did not need to see. Prussia versus Russia, which of the two is gonna win? Okay, once again, Vladimir Putin's Taekwondo is ridiculously overpowered. What was that? Can you imagine if Vladimir Putin wins the tournament? Rip Bismarck, Vladimir Putin wins that battle. Knockout stage, battle four. Robert the Bruce versus the Brutal, legendary Crusher of bones. Gandhi, what is happening to this YouTube channel? Now, I'm going to make a little prediction for you. Gandhi is about to win this battle. Oh my god. He's actually survived the first hit. Gandhi, why are you walking towards him? Why on earth is Gandhi walking towards him? <gasps> that was close. That was so close. There's a legit possibility that Gandhi might win this tournament, and I don't know how to feel about that. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> Gandhi wins that battle. Bruh. Knockout stage, battle five. Winston Churchill, Charles the 12th. Nothing claims dominance like a rooftop shootout. We have got Winston, my boy, carrying the Magnum versus Charles, who has got a... Oh, okay, he missed his first shot. That doesn't really boat. Oh my God, shot in the head does a backflip. This is gonna be really similar to the Napoleon battle from the last video here. And as it turns out, Magnum beats Flintlock. I know it's difficult to imagine, particularly when Charles over here misses all of his shots. Come on, is this one gonna hit? Okay, at least that one hits. Only just, though. Your time here, sir, is limited. Down he goes. Winston Churchill wins that battle. Knockout stage, battle six. King Henry V, Cleopatra. Here we go, the queen absolutely charging in, and King Henry V not far behind, and that's a wipeout. And they're both just lying on the ground now. They're both blinking and very much alive. Totally accurate battle simulator. Well done. So let's use the bug DLC. Give them both a push. The battle continues. Oh my god. Cleopatra is absolutely abusing him. He just got slapped onto a rock and he is now on very low health. Takes a big hit though at Cleopatra. Who is going to win this battle? Cleopatra, the rate of fire she's got just stabbing him left, right and center. Another big hit and King Henry V goes down. Cleopatra wins that battle. Knockout stage, battle seven. Cortez, Genghis Khan. The Mongolian versus the Spaniard, but which of these, oh my god, which of these two styles is going to be better? The elegant style or the brute force style? Come on, boys. Let's see what you got. This is a melee battle to the death. I thought he just jumped off the edge, although his head is looking ripe for an execution. Come on. 
one. Oh, getting his can. Why'd you gotta do us like that? You gotta cut his head off, bro. This is a close battle. Two melee experts going hand to hand here. And there we go. Unexpected result. Genghis Khan got staked. Cortez wins that battle. Knockout stage battle eight. Shaka Xerxes. Here we go. Both these men have got some sort of a weapon and the shield. They should be evenly matched. Shaka actually all of a sudden just abusing Xerxes on the floor. Oh my god Shaka. Now stepping up to the plate. Pinning him against a tree. Now against a rock. He had him on the floor before. Shaka get him against the tree again. Go on son. Once again pinned against the rock. Finish him. Come on finish him. Finish him. Oh my god how much health has that guy got? Don't play with your food Shaka. Just finish him. Finish the job. How is this battle still going on? Finally it was ended. Look at that. Shaka wins that battle. The knockout stages are over. Only eight heroes remain. The quarterfinals will take place on this simulation maps. Quarterfinal battle one. George Washington, William Wallace. An American president versus a Scotsman. Let's see how this goes. Manages to land the second, but the... Oh, no, I don't believe it. Turns out he's a really slippery boy, but he's only got so far to run until he falls off the map. Come on. What a sad way to win a battle. Fight like a man, George Washington. Is he off? He's so close. He is so close. What a way to lose a battle. He misses. He doesn't even dodge. He just... Oh my god. They're both off, but who dies first? George Washington died first. William Wallace wins that battle. Quarter final battle two. <sighs> Vladimir Putin, Gandhi. Yeah. I know. Let's get this cursed disaster over with. Gandhi is entering the maze, and so is Putin. And here comes the confrontation. Can Vlad kill him quick? Oh, <laughs> bro. I don't believe what just happened. Vladimir Putin just killed Gandhi. I'll be totally honest. I didn't think those words in that sentence would ever come out of my mouth. Vladimir Putin wins that battle. Quarter final battle three. Winston Churchill, Cleopatra. This is going to be an interesting one. We've got range versus high attack speed melee. Two very different play styles here. Who is going to win? It's a good start for Winston. But now he's on his reload. And oh my god. Cleopatra with her daggers is in. But is Winston reloaded? He is, but not in time. He does also appear to have some sort of a punch ability. But is it going to be enough? Cleo. Patra, I think she's gonna win this. She's absolutely nailing him. There we go. Cleopatra wins that battle. Quarter final battle four. Cortez Shaka. Okay, the Spanish conquistador versus the Zulu war chief. Now I think we're about to get ourselves a platform finish here. Big headbutt from Cortez, actually pushing Shaka off the side here. Now this is two very different melee strategies here. Oh my God, Shaka was just beating him. That was a ground and pound. Okay, Shaka going absolutely ham. Once again, just stabbing him on the floor. Shaka's got the shield and Cortez has got the dodge ability. But which of the two is going to be more effective here? Tell you what, Cortez spending a lot of time on the floor. But what a surprise defeat. I did not see that coming. Cortez wins that battle. The quarterfinals are over. Only four heroes remain. The semifinals will take place in the arena. Semi-final battle one. William Wallace, Vladimir Putin. Here we go, the very first Colosseum battle. William Wallace coming out the gate here nice and quick. Is he going to please one hit and please? No, he's gonna lose, isn't he? He's already enraged. He's actually legitimately going to lose. Putin is on his back. <gasps> I don't believe it. I do not believe it. I do not believe it. William Wallace actually managed to take down Vladimir Putin. Oh, thank God for that. William Wallace wins that battle. Semi-final battle two. Cleopatra Cortez. This one is for a spot in the final. It's all to play for. We've got a big jump ability. This is an incredibly similar play style these guys have got, but which is going to come out on top? 
stop in this battle. Come on, Cleopatra's on the ground. Get up. Oh, she got up in a big way. They're both on the ground. They just keep diving all over the place. Come on. There we go. Cleopatra cutting the jugular and ending the Spanish conquistador on the spot. Cleopatra wins that battle. The semi-finals are over and we have our finalists. But first, we will find the bronze medal. The battle for third place. Vladimir Putin, Cortez. Now this is going to be an interesting battle. Both of these units are incredibly strong. Oh, the diving head, but look at that textbook play. Putin's coming to finish the job. Job. What's going on here? You know that grab ability he's got, by the way? Unbelievably powerful because he's got Taekwondo kick as well. He can just grab him, hold on to him, and just kick him to death on the floor. I feel like I've just witnessed a murder. He literally just pinned him down and kicked him to death. Why does it feel like he's staring at me as if to say, you're next? In third place, Vladimir Putin. Now for the main event. The final will be best of three battles. This is the Final battle one. William Wallace, Cleopatra. This is make or break and in she comes. Big first contact and William Wallace actually missed his first shot. Get back on your feet. Who's going to win this though? We have got basically maximum damage per hit versus speed and agility. She's putting in a ground and pound and executed that claymore. Wait, his eyes are still moving. The battle's ended. Why is his eyes still moving? Bro, what are you looking at? What's over there? Imagine there was just somebody behind me now. And that is one win to William Wallace with two more battles to go. The final battle two. Cleopatra, this is your last chance for redemption. You either win this battle or you come in second. And I think that William Wallace actually got... Oh no, she's about to be executed. She is about to be executed. Mark my words. Oh, he missed? Wait, is he gonna get her on the second turn? I can't believe I just saw that. How did he miss that? Okay, maybe she might be in with a shot. That, oh, oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, nah. No, she's not. The Haymaker. I don't believe it. The Claymore, man. This weapon is unreal. Making that two victories to William Wallace. From 32 heroes, we have our Supreme Gladiator. Next time, the Elite Infantry Tournament. Comment, and then comment again.